Hey everybody, it's Danielle here from DKW Styling. Okay, so for one of the spring trends I've noticed for this year is braids are big. So you can see I have a big braid going across my head, but it's actually a headband. <laughs> so it's a headband I made um, using real hair, some like old extension hair. So you can see it's just a headband, but it's I think it looks more real because I used real hair. <laughs> And it's kind of like a mix between two different colors because a lot of the headbands or braids I've seen that look really fake. It's like a bright blonde and it looks um, like synthetic hair. And so it doesn't look very natural and it just looks kind of ends up looking kind of cheap. So anyways, I just took some old extension hair and I was going to kind of explain how I did it. So if you wanted to try it at home, you could. Um, so I took, like I said, I used a mix. So I used this old piece of kind of a caramely brown and then this is like a mixed blonde color and how I did it is I just took you know my two pieces of hair just some old extension hair or if you go to Sally's you can buy like a bag of real hair I mean it's not the best quality but it's kind of fun to play around with and like make clip-ins and or make a braid headband or whatever you want to do or just add more hair or anything like that so anyways I take my hair and I kind of brush it together and I kind of just bundle it all up at the top so you can kind of see and then I took a little rubber band little tiny one and I kind of just um, put the rubber band around this you know a few times and then I braid this whole section together and then I put once I get it all braided I put another hair tie at that other end and then I just got like a plastic headband you can see there um, I think I just got it at Target um, and then anyways what you do is you take a hot glue gun once you have your braid in place so you can get a hot glue gun pretty much anywhere. I just got this little mini guy. It's like from a craft store or something. Um, and what you want to do is just kind of start kind of um, gluing around your headband and then place the hair all along where you like it. And then I kind of wanted mine to have a clean finish so it didn't look weird. So I actually took some hair extension thread that I use. You can also get this at Sally's. Um, or any hair extension beauty supply store will carry it. It's just thread. Um, and then once I got the, the hair all glued onto the headband, I actually just um, did a tiny bit more super glue right on top and just kind of wrapped the extension thread around. So it kind of gives it a nice uh, clean finish so you don't have like all the ends kind of poking out. And then I took some super glue when I got done and I kind of just dabbed a little bit of super glue where the string ended um, so it would stay looped around. Um, anyways, I think it turned out cute. It's made with real hair. So after I got done with the braid, I took um, a little bit of hairspray and smoothed it down uh, or like a little bit of a polishing cream would work or anything like that. But And I like it because it's a really, really thick uh, braid. I don't know if you can see that. But anyways, I think it looks cute. And you can just like throw it in. Sometimes if I pull my hair up in a ponytail or, or if I want to do like a little messy side pony, I think it looks cute. It just adds a little extra. Um, I also am going to make like, I think it'd be cute to do a thinner braid um, if you wanted, this is a really thick one, but say you wanted a really thin one, it'd be cute on a thinner headband as well. Or a headband that goes all the way around your head, it'd be cute to do a braid all the way around. And then when your hair is pulled up, the braid kind of loops all the way around. Um, but anyways, I'll kind of give you a close up. I thought it looked cute and I feel like mixing the two colors, the brown and the blonde, makes it look a little bit more natural. Um, so anyways, that's my little spring hair tip of a fun idea and hope you like it. I'm also going to show you some quick easy updos next week. Um, some of them I'll be doing with the braid and things like that that'll be cute and fun and, and easy. So let me know if you have any questions and hope you enjoy. See you guys.